Flat the 55 penguins. Today we're going to do 2019 number five, Flatterans. A researcher studying the evolutionary relationship among five primate species obtained data from a sequence of mitochondrial DNA from a representative individual of each species. The researchers then calculated the percent divergence in the sequences between each pair of primate species. And that's given to us in table one. So you can see that there is 10.3% uh, divergence between the human and the gorilla and so on. So based on the fossil data, the researcher estimates that humans and their most closely related species in the data set diverged approximately 7 million years ago. Using this data, calculate the rate of mtDNA percent divergence per million years between humans and their most closely related species in the data set. And then we're going to round our answer to two decimal places. So if we look here, we can see that the human has the lowest number with the chimpanzee. So that tells us that the human and the chimpanzee are the most closely related um, individuals. And so if we wanted to calculate this, we say, well, 8.8 .8 divided by 7, because it told us per millions of years. So I can ignore that all the zeros that would come with that. And that gives me 1.257. But it says to give your answer to two decimal places. So that's 1.25 or 1.26. So the student says the rate of empty DNA percent divergence per million years is approximately 1.26 per million years. There we go. So part B says use the data in the cladogram, I'm sorry, construct the cladogram on the template provided. Provide reasoning for the placement of the givens as the out group. So we already know the human and the chimpanzee had the lowest number, so we put those together on the uh, cladogram, okay? Now remember we, that if we have a branch point, you can rotate on that branch point. And so this could also be human and chimpanzee, um, so either the chimpanzee then the human or the human then the chimpanzee. This is the branch point, so it can rotate. So now we can look and say, okay, well, what's next in our uh, percent divergence? 10.3 with the gorilla, so we put the gorilla next, and then 16.1 with the orangutan. And then last but not least, we of course have the gibbon that was placed last. So we have to provide reasoning for the placement of that gibbons as the out group. So in terms of the this being an out group, it has the most divergence from the human. It's got the highest percent divergence, um, so it's the least similar from the others, okay? So given is the least similar, most di different, or given is the most divergent. Okay, so here's a student. They put the human, the chimpanzee, and the gorilla, and then the orangutan. They get points for that. And they said givens are the outgroup in the cladogram because they have the greatest, largest divergence of mitochondrial DNA among the five primate species. The part C says on the cladogram, draw a circle around all of the species that descended from the species indicated by the node in the square. So here is our note, and I always think about it like driving down a road, okay? Everything after this point is related to this organism. So the orang, I'm sorry, the gorilla, the chimpanzee, and then the human are all coming from this divergence point, okay? Um, so circling one, two, and three numbered from the top. Notice that it did not put specific organisms here, um, because if you understood that these three organisms right here were descendants of the boxed one, um, you did not lose points for incorrectly placing them on the cladogram. And so here the student did it, and of course they got that answer. So if that was helpful, remember AP by Pain was just success by.